gaming news. Oh, this I like this part. The gaming news. news. Gaming news, 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 news. Well, uh, something very important happens this week. Uh, something I've anticipated greatly. Something that I took part in a beta for. To be perfectly candid, went through a series of withdrawals once the beta went dark. And Dang. that is Overwatch. Yeah, that good. You didn't play the beta. I didn't know. You haven't played any Overwatch at all. I have not touched it. Okay. I honestly almost want to forgive Blizzard for what pile of shit that Warlords of Draenor turned it out to be. Right, it almost redeems an entirely other franchise. Right, because mistakes. they clearly redirected resources to this game. That's and, not uncommon. Well, they made probably one of the top five games I've ever played. No way. That could. Well, okay, so I am... I've always been into first-person shooters. I got into playing Warcraft uh, through some friends. Right. Don't look at me. That wouldn't be... I was already there when you got there. I was like, all are well. <laughs> Come here, my friend. <laughs> try it. No, no, try first. Come it here. Is... Come here. I sell you hairpiece. First, first give you hairpiece. First hit is free. You make them sound like Nino Brown, dude. They're not, <laughs> they're not giving out turkeys on Thanksgiving, I That's take right. it. That's right. So Overwatch. What, I, what I've been dealing with in gaming as of late is every game I play, I have to be a neckbeard in order to play it well. Right. I have to min-max my numbers. I have to analyze my gear. Even the division, right? Even the division. The division. I was shocked like, at how okay, neckbeardy gun, you can right, get in one. that freaking game. Well, this one has better penetration and fire rate, but this one Easy. gives me more critical chance. Hmm. Oh, not just critical chance on marksman rifles. Well, what do I do all the time? I snipe all the time. Well, I want this one, but this one's like lower than this one, sort of. All that neckbeardy nerd stuff. Right. I love it. Yeah. It really is. It's going to take a break, though. That's one thing about my planet based game, I will say. I haven't had to measure any stats. I just click the little guy and say, hey, build that. And, and that's the beauty of Overwatch is you've got 15, 16, 20 characters. Oh, I don't even know. I didn't know, know there was that many. Oh, dude, there's all ca there's a cavalcade. Looks of, like the, the start screen in Street Fighter 2. There's a whole cluster of wow. different characters. And they're broken out by their roles. Tank, DPS, healer. How do you tank in a game that's player versus player? Just, you have extra just armor. Just mitigate damage. You, you're able to shield everybody. Like So the way Reinhardt works is he's really big and he pops this shield. And it's this big red blockade that everybody can get behind and advance. And it takes damage. You have a number, like you see, like a little HUD that yeah. says, this is how much is left in the shield before it breaks. And then once it breaks, it goes on cooldown. But if you if you hold it up and then you let it go and you just get into cover, then you can put it back up and it'll recharge a little bit. Huh. So you'll never have to break it and put it on a cooldown if you don't have to, if you don't hold it up. But what that does is it allows you to advance. And so your healers can, healer slash healers can be behind you, channeling heals into you if your shield goes down. Right. So you can take a bunch of damage. Now, That's your main cool. attacks are huge smashes that knock people down, crowd control. Mm -hmm. So the tank's primary responsibility is to provide cover, let people advance, and crowd control. That's cool. So then you have Winston. Winston's a big uh, gorilla. And then he's like the title guy. I see him on the Taco Bell. Right, right, right. So, so the Taco Bell. he has a big red shield he can pop. That's but it's stationary. It doesn't move with you. Rein, Reinhardt's is you know like a giant riot big, shield kind yeah, of thing. Huge, yeah. right? Big and wide, and it covers a huge area. Uh, Winston's is a bubble. That's basically a big gridded polygonal bubble. It can't move. So you can use that as a stationary point to kind of to group up and and be able to not take damage and uh, hold people off. Then you have uh, Zarya. Zarya is this big uh, uh, lesbianic Russian chick. Russian. Yeah, she's got pink nah. hair and she has this huge gun. Ah, and I hate you because you are a man. Right, right, right. So her gun can fire shields onto people. <laughs> Just shoot big, shields? Big pink bubbles on people, right? That's she, cool. Doom, she hits them Thunk. with a bubble. Right, or she fires mortars, or she actually fires out a beam that's a laser that burns you. Like she can hold it on you and follow you with it. It's pretty intense. She's kind of eh, beat us in the space. Not really my favorite tank. She's kind of slow and kind of derpy, but she's not the greatest tank for me. Oh, that's some unique mechanics though. At least they're not like, oh, this is they're a reskin version of different. this one. That they're sounds all, cool. Like they every character took care is different. to make sure each guy plays. Every their own character way. is different. So your DPS players radically different as well. You know, you've got Hanzo, who's a ninja bowman. And that's the guy you sent me the cool lore video right. on, right? His the brother, two dragons. His brother, uh, Genji. He's the a robo ninja. ninja. Robo ninja, right. draws a sword. Uh, he's more melee, but he mm. does fire shuriken. You can fire the shuriken in two ways. You can fire it either three bursts in one spot. Why or... you gotta call it a shuriken, dude? 
It's a ninja star. Sorry for me being accurate. Anyway, so you can fire the ninja stars in a shotgun blast where it goes like doo -doo -doo, in a three in a line. That's cool. Like he did in the video. So that yeah. so in the video he's th th that kind of showed lore, but what's funny stuck is to that a mechanical video, thing, right? That, that video is not that far from gameplay. Yeah, really. It's, it's not that, that far. That crazy. It's not that far. It's pretty close. I'll know one day. Yeah, okay, so it's really good. It's really good. Then the healer's radically different. Our buddy Bender, he likes to play Lucio. Lucio is a Brazilian on roller skates who's got a speaker that fires sound charges of boom, 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 boom. Whenever he does his big healing cooldown, he goes, oh, let's break it down. And like this big boom sound wave goes out and everybody gets a speed boost and a, and a healing absorb shield. Okay, so dubstep is good for you. And he's always constantly like doing this when he's standing still. Like he's got he's got a beat going on in his he head. He have Tourette's syndrome. I mean, that could he be could a have Tourette's. He, he could. Don't he marginalize could. him. It's good. I like Lucio. I like okay. him. I like him. He's fun. So this guy's a healer? So Bender he's plays a as a healer? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's really good at it and, and he has a lot of fun. He's plugging you, dude. Don't listen to him. Not even plugging. Just being honest. <laughs> being real. Mercy, however. Mercy's ridiculous. She has a staff that she points at you and channels heals into you constantly. So I can take somebody who's critically hit and heal them up to full Damn. in like three seconds. Okay, now how do they balance that out? What's her con? Her con is she's extremely awesome. weak offense. Oh. Okay. You put your staff away and you pull out a blaster, but it takes a second, your thing goes away and your blaster comes out, uh, and it's incredibly weak, and it takes like, rather than two or three hits from somebody to kill you, it takes like five or six or seven oh, hits dang. for you to kill them. So if you get on a one-on-one -on -one battle, you're kind of in trouble. Her big healing cooldown is a complete team battle res. Everybody so everybody that's die. dead. Everyone who's dead within range of you will get res where they were. That sounds OP. Uh, but if she only has a blaster, I guess it's cool. It is OP, but her other ability is a DPS increase. You can hold the other thing and it will funnel a damage boost into the person you're targeting and it just channels into them. So they have increased damage output for the time you're That's channeling. That's kind of cool as you said someone kind of like your anchor. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I can line of sight myself, put channel in to a Hanzo who's near me, and he'll just start one-shotting people. Like, boom, one arrow. Yeah, boom. just wrecking them. Oh, up. God. It's, it's cool. great. So if a lot I of as a healer. coordination involved. Well, lots of it. That's cool. So if I as a healer am smart and am able to line of sight myself and keep myself out of the way, I can help so many people get a lot of kills. And literally, I can switch back and forth between heals, DPS boost, heals, DPS boost. Yeah. You know, I did whatever they take damage, heal them back up, switch back to damage boost. Right, right, right. If they, if ever, if two people near me get killed. So she, she's, she's proactive and reactive. Ah, uh, one hundred percent. Supports both places. One hundred percent. Her, her, her other thing clean. is her wings. If you get line of sighted by somebody, if they jump and go jump off of something, you can pull your pull another trigger or bumper. I forget which one it is. And it engages your your wings, and you fly to your target. Whoa! It's a quick burst. It doesn't last very long. Yeah. But it can get you like some of the players have have wall climbing abilities, like the ninjas, like Hanzo and Genji can climb walls. Uh, if you're healing a Hanzo and he goes doom, doom, climbs up a wall, you, you can, can pull your wings and you can fly up there with him. Yeah, and still keep falling. Over. Right, as long as you're channeling into him. And so the beta's over. The time to play this game for free is is nigh. It's That's done. gone. It's gone. It's done. Damn. It's done. Uh, okay, Was so, the beta on PC, though? Yes, both. I, I have th it. I downloaded it. Then online. I did miss out. Yeah, I downloaded it. Offered. So that, that dumps on Tuesday. That's it. Yeah. And yeah. What, what's the plans post-release? Have they said anything? New heroes? New maps? Like, how are they going to... Because I worry about Blizzard. They've never done a game like this. It was complete. Do they know what to do? I don't think they do. Like, it sounds like they designed a very fun game, but are they going to know... Because I'm, I'm sensing the same problem with the guys making the division. That they're like, boom, here it is. Everyone's like, we love it. What's next? And they went, we didn't think you would like it. We didn't know. Honestly, I'm split on that because I came from a time in games when there was no loot. There mm -hmm. was no reward there was just you know no levels you don't get levels you just play the game to play the game like and if you beat it you beat it and you beat it you beat it you know you don't you don't need to be showered with candy all the time no. but okay so getting back to what i was saying about this is a game where you don't need to be a neckbeard it's one of those ones where you could just pick up go here are my four buttons mm -hmm. and oh right i'm playing in. right in. you don't need to think about all that stuff you get good with individual characters <laughs> and then once you play them for a while cool thing is you do get loot rewards but they're not, they're like League of Legends in the way where they're skins. Oh, cool. So Make your guy look different. You get chests. Like if you do really well in a game, you, you level up because there is leveling, but mm -hmm. the levels have no 
bearing on your damage or your output. Right, it's like a ranking system. Exactly. Kind of vibe or... Finish a round, you level up, you have a loot chest you can get. And when you open up the loot chest, you go to another menu, you open up the loot chest, out pops in, the, in this incredible fanfare. Four big coins fly out. Hey! It's, it's pretty over the top. Hey! You've got this chest. Ah! Yeah, exactly. You've got this chest, you press the button on it, and it goes, like the sides go, pss, pop open, and it goes, opens up and then out fly these four coins into the air and they flip and they're one of four colors white green blue or purple or gold five gold is legendary and these coins can be rewards a skin a voice track audio track huh well they have different emotes your characters can yeah. talk to each other right? oh so like add i different need heels you know i know they'll say it something some say different something way. different but then the characters also at the beginning of a round before there's a ramp up the attacking team kind of sits with the sum up its ass inside of this little holding area and you can't go anywhere uh so the characters will organically talk to each other oh, about cool. the lore they will say remember that time we were here oh that was great you know like trippy they start talking to each other about the lore games are smart it's pretty crazy and it's it's really funny to listen like my character just talked oh, yeah. oh. i didn't even do anything you know that that's the thing those rewards come out they can be skins they can be voice tracks they can be little pictures to put on your gamer tag they can be currency to buy other you know things like pictures and mm -hmm. those skins and whatnot a lot of customization yeah so it's like there's a progression to it but it's not kind of like required like oh you have to hit this point of character progression right. to whatever. Right. right, right. That sounds good. And it's out Tuesday? Yeah, it's out Tuesday. I might get it. I cannot wait. I might get it. My problem is, is you're doing it on console. And I suck at console shooters. Okay, shooters. you know how you just said that? That's how I am with PC shooters. I know. So, I mean... Star-crossed gamers, man. Seriously, it's... Star-crossed uh, gamers. The way I justify not becoming a, a PC gaming first-person shooter, you know, guru is because the majority of the people that I game with... Well, they do it all on Xbox. On Xbox, right? It's, lo it's lonely in PC town. Well, it is. There's, mm -hmm. you know, you have to have all these third-party programs and shit to, to form a community of friends. What? You know, you, you you don't get to just say, hey, friend request. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's not as robust. You four-year-olds have it so easy. I know, I know. I'm the older one, too. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I'm taking part in the kids' I'm, stuff. I'm over here walking uphill both ways. Yeah. But no, I do have a console, and I play it. Yeah. I play, well, I've play. i actually now, probably played my Xbox more than I played, well, my X-Bone more than I played my 360. I'm not a huge console guy, but the, the, the Bone has some very fun games. I really like The Division. Was going to buy it when The Division came out, but then they put Grand Theft Auto V out, which they said they weren't gonna do. They're not coming to the new consoles. They lied, they did it anyways. So I basically was like, well, I'll just get it early and wait for The Division. Now, it's, now, now my problem is, where's the next Xbox game? That, that it's like, I have no choice but to get that on Xbox, and I have to have it, and I'm not seeing it. Hmm. Overwatch? Overwatch, sounds fun. I might take a whack at out on console. I'll suck. Give me a job I could do um, with thumbsticks. Next segment. Um, wow crap. The next wow Legion beta. Legion just, beta. Just in time for the movie. What came first, the movie or the game? I think we know. Um, are you gonna be playing WoW, do you think? Legion expansion? I'll have to look more. I was not pleased at the class order halls. Last time I looked, which was about a month ago, I realized how software development works. It'll be different. It looked to me to be reskinned garrison stuff. And that scared the ever living thangs out of me. To be perfectly honest, the, the garrison, yeah, was a... Uh, uh, I can't, honestly, it got me to gold cap. I mean, oh, that's good. I can't complain that much. Yeah. But what it did do is it uh, kept me from going out in the world. Right. Uh, kept me from- You can't fly because we want you to explore the world. Now shut up and get in your hole. Well, okay, or, or the inverse of that. Here's an expansion. You're not going to be able to fly. Why don't you stay in here and yeah. do all this content? Stay in this hole. Oh, by the way, in order for you to fly, because everybody complained enough, mm -hmm. we're going to make an achievement that makes it so you should have been out in the world. Oh, wait. <laughs> We kept you in there. We put an achievement like for not being in the garrison. We pigeonholed you in. We, yeah. we tied every single one of your loot rewards, your uh, content advancement, your character progression, all of that to the garrison. Yes. But yet the, to get to fly, you're going to have to go out mm -hmm. in the world and do things. Yeah. It was like, who, I mean, who wants to play super awesome dynamic content when we could just shove you in there and make you play Facebook games? Well, I mean, then the net of it is you were self-sufficient. You never, you didn't need miners anymore. No. You didn't need herbalists. Right. So they ruined trade skills. Oh. Too, is what you're saying. Kind of did a little bit of that. Unforeseen consequences. Like, you know, hey, I got an idea. Let's see how that meeting went. I got an idea. Ian has a toaster was like, 
Why don't we make it so that everyone hates this game? Perfect. <laughs> you know what I'm tired of? Developing this game. <laughs> Let's make something that makes people not want to play it so we just go free to play with the damn yeah. thing and just give them legacy servers. Who's like, here? WoW Legion beta launch. Uh, when? I didn't. Well, it's already launched. Oh, it's going now. Yeah, I saw I didn't get an invite. Beta. No? I didn't get an invite. I should have got an invite. Should have given you an invite. Top streamer right here. You know, I wish. My yeah. favorite streamer. But hey, I, I, I'm getting up there in followers. I don't watch the numbers. That's beta worthy though. That should give you a key. Shit. All I did was score tickets to BlizzCon one time and I got a StarCraft 2 beta key. Sold it to a dude. 25 big ones. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's Make like uh, in Barack Obama's economy, that's like a gallon of gas. Right? Dude. 25 bucks. Nice. Love well, that. maybe. And a pack of smokes until they're $12 a pack in California. You mean they're not? Nah, they okay. should be. I need to quit. Yeah, the the Legion, uh, the the class order hall thing scared me, but that was a month ago, so I don't know. The changes to the game that are coming. In fact, you won't get a weapon drop in Legion. And you know, I didn't, I didn't either, but I kind of. I should like that because we played the game. You know how loot works for me when I play that game. You never get. Loot. I don't get loot. So what them loot? eliminating loot should be me like, oh, <clears throat> dude, they're this is perfect. Well, they didn't eliminate loot, but they eliminated the need to get weapon drops. Yeah. If you look at Classic WoW, which I did recently because mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance to play it, mm -hmm. the way that the talent trees work, the way that the talent systems work, the way well, that's that terrible, terrible in in some respects, but at the same it time, it afforded more choice. You had the chance to break your character. Yeah. Make it not you, functional. You could f up you, can, you can't anymore you can make a useless tune that mm -hmm. couldn't do anything that's a old i like old that. mmorpg term that i, I like haven't that. heard in years is you gimped your tune i like that sounds like something to bring you gimped your tune mate log mate log mate right if you have the opportunity to mess your tune up that is good that is a right. good thing yeah see they saw that as bad but well that's bad because then like people feel bad well they should feel bad they they gimped their tune. Wait a minute, you got all healing talents. Yeah, and you're, you know? You're a ret paladin. Right, you're a ret pally, but you want it. Or, or the, the best was the, I'm going to be a tank, but I'm going to specialize with heals. And, and so, okay, so now you're not good at anything. You're not good at anything. You're not good at anything you know? Well, you just got wrecked. Yeah, you used to be able to do you're that. You're supposed to pick things that have you uh, take less damage, not right. heal damage. Well, like the, but with Legion, I haven't looked at too many of the new mechanics, but the class order hall thing that I watched scared the crap out of me. Them removing the weapon drops. Not all loot's gone, right? No, you no, just, no. You get your Artifact weapon, your heirloom weapon. What is it? Called? Art artifact. Artifact weapon. weapon. To Melee that. hunters too, though. That. Oh, oh that's kind of. No, dude, I'm so against the reverse it. Reverse scorpion. Get over. Yeah, no wait, I'm going over yeah, there. I'm so against it, dude, because <laughs> my whole life it was like imprinted into the back of my eyelids. Do not melee. Do not melee. Every look at the guy's meleeing. Huh? It's the worst thing. Don't melee. Don't melee. Don't melee. Don't melee. And then all of a sudden they're like, actually, you could melee. But you do you do melee attacks, but you also you you drop a turret down and it does damage on the side. You know mm -hmm. you your pet does things and you know you you throw your spear and you do your hybrid melee ranged class, which yeah. is kind of cool. I just miss my bump jumping flipping titan. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what a hunter's always been to me. You're 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 the original hunter. I'm not. Right, right. right. So I have recently learned how to PvP on my hunter. And yeah. My hunter is a troll machine. Yeah, 180 jump shot. What you gotta do is be pimp like I used to. Have at my prime i would do the 180 jump 180 jump and then when i got real good i would just do 360s so i would just jump and flip and you would just get an arcane shot while i was like <laughs> jumping and twirling through the air oh so good what i've recently perfected is I'm not uh, doing that with this song brother. yeah i've recently perfected the uh ice trap knock you off mm. into oblivion death move frost or freeze trap them they get stuck my explosive, explosive trap mm -hmm. which is glyphed so it no longer does damage, it just does a knockback, and they go boink off the cliff and they die. When that happens, they need to have like the old goofy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, great. It's it's amazing because I still have them targeted, and I watch their health go. Yeah. Dude, it's fantastic. No qualms with it. From what I've watched from uh, the Legion lore, or I guess the mm -hmm. the story, the story progression, it looks really interesting. Okay, so which Azeroth is it? Current. Real life. It's back to current. It's not alternate back nope. in time. It is current time. I don't know how they're sewing up that little rift in time, mm. but I think what they're going to do is say, yeah, that happened. And they're just like, oh, we're, we're home now. Yeah, that happened. I have a headache. But we're home now. Guys, guess what? Uh, we brought friends and they're bad. That's you know, so strange to me. Gul'dan is on the run. Well, Gul'dan's dead, but this is alternate he timeline. Didn't die. No, but he died in the real game, like in the real. See, this is mm -mm. this right here is why I can't do. It. So this is Gul'dan from what? Because real Gul'dan's dead in real Azeroth. Right. I'm gonna need more arms to explain all that. Gul'dan. So this is Gul'dan from 
drain ore. Right. Right. At the end of Hellfire Citadel, when we kill Archimond, mm. Archimond turns and looks at Goldar. You made a pact, and he shoots him with something, and then like sends him into the Nether. Mm. So I don't know what happens to him from there. I don't know how he he works into the new story, but apparently the Legion can't somehow. Somehow, some. Yeah, some... I don't know because I haven't. Mm. Again, I didn't. Well, get they'll probably reveal that. I imagine, right? I think eventually, yeah, yeah. some live event. I, I imagine yeah. something like that. That uh, that video that they did where Gul'dan went up to uh, the frozen body of Illidan yeah. in the vault of the Wardens and you know, put his hand on the on the block of ice i don't know what he was trapped in that was weird frozen demon goo yeah. i don't know what it is it's demon splooge and he yes, channeled yes. some fell energy into gold or into illidan and his tattoos lit up mm -hmm. so mine do that all the time right well mine do that whenever i get out in the sun mm -hmm. they, they raise yeah. up you gotta put yeah. lotion on them yeah so so somehow uh he's he's resurrecting illidan somehow gul'dan is alive in current time but the new zones from all the videos i've seen look amazing the new character designs in the character models and their attack animations mm -hmm. oh my god they look my amazing god. now whenever you if you're a melee class and you do a sword slash you hear a metal scrape smashing sound and mm -hmm. then sparks fly off of it and numbers fly up so it's like Word. Like ching ching, and then you see the sparks and numbers and numbers and the crit. And then it's all know. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah. It looks absolutely cool. Just as a side note, uh, the thing they're doing to combat rogue. I've heard about it. Oh my god. Okay, so wait, you guys are a ranged class now. Oh shit! Wait, really? That, that was supposed okay, to be well, tongue in cheek, dude. Well, that was supposed to be patron. Don't bite your tip. Don't bite your tongue off. <clears throat> um, we get a gun. We do. Shut up. We do. We you don't a, get a gun. You get a gun. Uh, Combat Rogue was originally kind of built on the whole pirate Port swashbuckler uh -huh. theme. Right? So yeah. you're a a rogue that doesn't deal in the shadows. You deal with swords and you're up in the shit. Right? You're up in people's faces. Mm. Legion Combat Rogue is full on pirate lore. Mm. At some point, you proc a pistol shot. No way. Where you, you're like, slash, 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 rear back. Boom, fire your musket, huh, that's cool. a little pistol shot, yeah. and then they like, have another thing called roll the bones. Like dominoes? You just say domino mother effer? And well, one of your abilities, drops. you hit a button, and all these dice appear around you. And they go, they tumble around, and they have all these little, little petroglyphs on them, and each one of them is a buff that you get and it's a random series of buffs yeah. i think you can have from one to five buffs one's a cooldown reset another one's a damage buff another one is a this and another that you can have so one... they actually put the rng in the lore yes so <laughs> the pirate thing you know rolling the bones on the deck of the ship whenever yeah. the deck has been swabbed you know yeah. the guys are sitting there trying not to get scurvy you know what i mean yeah. they, they eat oranges. the bones yeah. right eating oranges. Eat oranges and salt pork exactly a really cool concept that's cool though a lot it's of rng it's definitely weird you're like, why did your DPS suck that round? Well, I rolled the bones five yeah. times and I just kept getting the stupid thing. Yeah, like, dude, you totally like, why did you suck? I'm like snake eyes, sorry, yeah, dude, crapped out. I rolled box cars, crapped out, dude. I rolled box cars a bunch of times. Didn't didn't get the buffs I wanted, so didn't get the buffs I wanted. So kind of. I mean, you know, the unique. RPPM trinkets, random proc per minute for those of you who are uneducated. Uh, the RPPM trinkets, you got a random procs per minute on certain things for buffs and like if you didn't, if you got shit rocks on your trinket you know you would do a lot less damage that round mm. and for that boss fight to me rng is kind of like ugh. it sucks in one way but it's kind of exciting in others yeah. Yeah. well i mean it adds a random aspect to the game what's it's frustrating is for high-end players who yeah. have their rotation down to the nth millisecond yeah. where they're like i press this button then i press that button and now it's time for this button and yeah. then i do that and if you have a different result and you're that accurate, huh. it's kind of frustrating. Well, that's what I'm saying. It, it's uh, the skill cap stops, and it's like your skills in that game only get you so far because of, then at that point, there's a little bit of RNG. There's the cloud. There's, there's a the random little, cloud yep. at the top. The X Factor. I'm looking forward to Legion. I want to. I'm just looking forward to new content. Mm. You know, because basically, if you didn't raid, if you don't raid in WoW, you are you are out of luck. Yeah. Unless you PvP. Bonded. If you yeah. PvP, then you pretty much always have something to do. So the Legion, I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Hopefully, you'll join us. It looks cool. Like I said, I usually do around expansion time. So yeah, we'll see. Wad is is a record in that I came back and was gone within two three weeks. Well, you came back. You leveled up to 94, 95, yeah. and then gone mm -hmm. for like two three months. Then came back and then went all the way to 100. Started tanking raids for a little bit. A little bit of raid. And then gone again. Gone again. And then I think you came back on Leechium for a little bit. And you mm -hmm. hunt-hearted for I, a little I bit. Really, I really did try. I really did try to like what? 
came back, really did. raided for a little bit, mm -hmm. and then gone. I think the lithium gone was some sort of drama. Uh, you were, that was when we had to move, and my you were going to move. Just went to hell. Yeah, you were going to move. Yeah, yeah out mm -hmm. into the the boondocks. Yes. Now yes. you're in the semi boondocks. Semi boondockies, but the, comfortable. But I, got, but I got internet. Comfortable boondocks with decent internet. Yes. I and mean the boondocks aren't bad. Taco Rio. Well, in a gas station. Yeah, gas station tacos. America. Can you? Can you? America. Is there a thing that can make you tear up less than gas station tacos? I gotta go. I know it can make me tear up more. What's that? Fallout 4 DLC. Oh shit. That okay, next thing. segue though. I'm made for this. So, yeah. See, this is a little more up my alley. Fallout 4 DLC. Mm. Makes me happy. Maybe Scotsman will play it? No. 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 Okay. He's not, not gonna play bit. He's not gonna play Not even a little bit. But uh, the whole thing, it's uh, Far Harbor. The, the past couple DLCs they've done is like, oh, hey, a couple more guns or, you know, hey, a couple more things you could build in your towns. This one's an actual, mm -hmm. I guess you would call it an expansion. New zone, yeah. new enemy types, new so, weapons, new So you're stories. gonna go back into a cryo chamber and then you're gonna come back a hundred years later? No, 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 this one, you go to Maine or something like that. I actually okay. don't have a lot of information on it. I mean, I've seen the trailers, I've watched mm -hmm. some stuff, but I haven't got to play it because Mm -hmm. This little guy. So just new crafting. Yeah, new, new crafting, new stuff. But what I, what has me interested in is, I guess, the basis of the story is, you know, girl gets kidnapped, which is always like the way to get you there. Girl gets kidnapped. Right. And then now hijinks ensue. So mm -hmm. you've got, I guess, some situation where you have renegade synths. The, the Institute is the secret organization. They're the ones that take your lady and all that good stuff. Take your son and all that stuff. Oh, the, the whole reason I don't play. Right. They're the reason okay. you don't play the okay. Institute. You do get a chance to fucking handle them. Just saying. You can get your revenge. Yeah, but I heard already that your son is the one who's leading the thing and you got to kill him. Who did that? Bender. Bender. My boy. But yeah, you could be nice to him. I was. I was no. I was like, cause he's not my son. Yeah. He was an infant, and the next time I saw him, he was a sixty-year-old man. That he ain't my son. daddy issues. That ain't my son. That ain't my fault. So, but well. synths are what they make at the institute. Back on track. Okay. These are synthetic people, and the the whole mystery of the first part of the vanilla game is these institute dudes are kidnapping people and replacing them with. Uh, doppelgangers but they're androids okay and so there's that but the synths are so advanced that they like feel something i don't know i i never really sided with the whole synth thing like this, all, all my playthroughs were just like just yeah yeah to they to they total totally was so like dope. oh they have feelings well they're robots you know but mm. they're, they're people because they have feelings well the robots because they're made out of metal renegade synths that escaped from the institute are inhabiting this small island with the children of adam and there are these weirdos that are like hooked on radiation. Hooked on it. They're like hooked on it. They, they don't care. They'll go and live in like the middle of a crater and stuff. For some reason, they don't die or mutate from the radiation. Okay. So, so they, they like it? Yeah. And they they Because it cooks popcorn for they, them? I guess. And they like invent these guns that like suck the radiation out of the air and shoot it at you. Weird stuff, dude. Weird stuff. Whoa. But I guess the whole, the whole, a lot of the part with this new DLC is that we are going to have more information on the, the synth side of things because we've got a whole camp that escaped from the Institute. Going to give you some info there. Oh, okay. And then uh, I'm stoked to get more into the children of Adam because they've always kind of been weird to me. They're they're strictly from Bethesda's version of Fallout. This is only... Oh, I mean, I could I be wrong. I consider myself a Fallout nerd, but I'm pretty sure they only show up on the East Coast. Okay, so they're like they're like Boston Southeast. Kind of, yeah, yeah. They're not, they're not, they're not people. Hey, get they, out of here! Yeah, there's hey, a lot of radiation. Forget about it. Hey, that sounds more New York. I was just doing the Italian. Fonz. I was more Italian. I was doing the Fonz. I was going more Boston. Hey, but yeah, so it's it's looking cool. Cool new weapons. Cool, creepy, freaking enemies. They got these giant mutated hermit crabs, but they're so big they had to transfer their shell into like cars. So you'll be like tripping and a car will like twitch, like what the hell was that? And then a <laughs> big old freaking crab comes out and you know, comes at you. And this is like- With the body of a not, car? This is kind That's of- That's not a boss. Volvo. Yeah, That's like, a oh, crustacean. He got crabs. Hey, <laughs> oh. Hopefully new music, cause I'm a dork like that. I love all the music in that game. I'm really stoked to play it in three to four weeks. That deserved dead air, because yeah. that was depressing. Way to end it on a down note. Right? You get in a feeling of, an impending feeling of doom. <laughs> Segway! Dude, 
The I dude. was not going to be into it, but the internet says it is really good. Yeah. That's literally what our bone, our bullet point at our guide that we're looking for says. Doom is actually good <laughs> because neither of us expected. I mean, dude, Doom. It's Doom. You probably played the old one. We're old. You know? I did. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Legendary stuff, but well, I okay. saw it as like a dude. Don't did you play skin it? Did you play Doom, Wolfenstein, or Duke Nukem, or did you play all three? I played all three. Did I because remember all old three school? Were the same thing. Yeah. Well, the old Duke Nukem before it was the shooter when they had the little side scroller ones, and then I remember they went and turned it into a shooter just because Doom and Wolfenstein kicked right. so much ass. You know? Right. Everybody said it's really good. I saw a little bit of the footage. It looks really good. The, but the, all games look the super cool. The enemies look now. insane. All games look really cool now. That like. Rendering is nuts. Like all games look bad. So look at the new Call of Duty game. Looks great. And then I'm like, oh wait. <laughs> but they're saying it's I hate good. Call of Duty now. I do, way. dude. I really I can't do. stand it. I it, can't stand it. They bastardize. They put too many of them out. Honestly though, it's I don't need to run on the walls. I don't need to I don't need my character to whip a nene after I win. You yeah, know? yeah. I yeah. don't need that shit. I don't want But see pulse cannons and Spaceships Gun. and tracker grenades and all that. And stuff. then you see, you know, all the all the tryhard kids are like, "Oh, it's just because you suck, man. It's just because you're no good. Is that why? Right. Well, Is why, that why? Why would I want to invest well, you the time to get good? You don't want to go game? into space? No, because in eight months we're gonna go into the center of the Earth, Call of Duty, journey to the center of the. Earth. Come on, dude. How are you guys still getting Call of so Duty. in flashback <laughs> dinosaurs? Dude, seriously, it's like Call of Duty to rock mashup, you know, like. Yeah. They're, they're, it's it's so South Park to me. Did you ever see the South Park where the, the movie trailer comes on and they're like, hey, whatever, coming June something, who cares, you'll buy it. <laughs> that's seriously the trailer of the movie. And that's yeah. how I feel with that, with that franchise. And yeah. that's what worried me about Doom is I was like, oh God, don't take such a beloved thing and then, oh, it's Doom, hey, cool. And then give me a Call of Duty game set on Mars with demons. From yeah. what I've heard, all the reviews, all the info I've got, they haven't. They're saying the movement is that old school shooter movement where you push the forward button and your dude skates halfway across the freaking level. It's got that old floaty style of movement. Uh, I, I don't know how much head bob effects and stuff, mm -hmm. but they're saying it plays, looks like a modern game, has all those modern des like reward system conventions, all the good stuff that mm -hmm. we've learned in these mm -hmm. past, what, 30 years? Yeah but it still moves and shoots like old original Doom game. And that has given me a boner, and now I want to play it. And I That didn't. sounds great. Right? You gonna play it? Uh, they do have it for Xbox. They, it was a multi-platform release like we just talked about, so you could play it on the bone. He doesn't right. like shooters on PC, I don't get it. It's always good to see a, a, a legacy franchise title to make a comeback yeah. and hopefully it garners an audience and, and they, they got cute play. little easter eggs like i guess there's a playable level from the original doom oh, hidden okay. in each level like you go and find it and it straight goes back to the little face doom guy getting <laughs> his hamburger meat you know the old yeah. you can't jump all the good old stuff. Mm. I want these kids that find these secrets to play it and go, what the hell? What do you mean I can't look around? Yeah. Remember that in Doom? You didn't <laughs> you got look no around. Peripheral. You had to you, turn 90 you degrees. You turned and you looked. You didn't shoot up. If there was a dude up and you were pointed near him, your bullet would just magically go up. You yep. didn't, there was no mouse look. Yep. First time I ever played a mouse look game, I swear to God, I said, this is crap. <laughs> Bender knows. He showed me Half-Life and I go, how does anybody play this crap? This is the worst thing ever. Yeah. And I'm over here cussing at you for playing shooters with the controller. I'm just, I'm just good with know. it. I'm just good with it. That, that's that's the wrap up for the news. Yeah. Got Overwatch starts Tuesday. Wild WoW Legion beta mm -hmm. going strong, mm -hmm. looking decent. Fallout DLC. Fallout 4 DLC came out on Thursday. It's getting good reviews, and Doom is actually good. Yeah. That's that's enough to blow me away right I'm, there. I'm down. All right. Well, so next segment is uh, you gonna play it? Am I gonna play it? Uh, if we're talking Doom, I'm gonna play it. I uh, I uh, might play it. Yeah. I might play it. I'm Doom. gonna play it. I might play it. I will report in. Um, Fallout 4. I will not play it. You won't. I won't play it. There's a moral disagreement there. Well, okay. So yeah, I was a, I was there's, in a there's situation a good reason, you know. where you know you're not just like that game looks stupid. Right. There's like nope. I tried it. It's not for me. I have a very it. intense YouTube video of me of the game making me cry like Made a little girl. Made me. It hit me home pretty hard. Right. And. The feels in the feels like donkey kick vag punch mm -hmm. no wait something mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. a very intense <laughs> blow to my uh my inner core mm -hmm. I, I just i couldn't handle yeah. it you know i don't do well with kids and wives family and things. families and yeah. stuff being injured or hurt I'm, I'm the same way if it wasn't a fallout game i probably would have been like fuck this yeah i can't but I can't it's fallout it. and i was like ugh. 
Yeah. Well, I have no choice. Yeah. Overwatch. Overwatch? Yeah. You gotta I'm going to play, play it. I'm going to play the hell out of that I'm game. I'm going to play it. And, uh, well, it's kind of out of order, but Legion? Legion? Still don't know. Got to play it. That's up in there. Well, I mean, if you're going to play it, you got you to gotta guild to lead. I'm going to play it. Yeah. I'm going to play it. Can't wait for the raiding. Can't wait for the uh, yeah. the dungeoning. I'm liking how the leveling works. Kind of pick a zone and... Or is that still a it's thing? It auto scales to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah you that's can cool. that's level in any that's zone cool. you want. And uh, Mythic But see, the, the cool stuff... Like, wow, let's be honest with WoW. The cool shit's the raiding. That's, it always is. That's... You, it always raiding. is. No. It always That's the centerpiece. So, so it's like nice. The little parts, like, oh, I could go to any zone and it scales and stuff. That's yeah. cool. But that's going to be cool for, what, the 10, <laughs> 10 days, I say for you, however long you'll hit max. But... Someone like me, maybe 10 days before I hit max, days. you know? Four, four, days, four for, days? Four days for about three or four characters at okay. least. And then, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still up in there on Legion. It would feel really strange to me at this point for something World of Warcraft related to release and me not buy it. Yeah. So WAD was strange because it's the <clears> only <throat> non-collector's edition I've ever bought. I think they built in a lot of features that are going to keep people playing. Oh, uh, the Mythic Plus dungeoning. Yeah. You heard about that? Yeah. Kind of... Yeah. Scales up until you just can't. Until That's you me. can't even. I'm I'm curious to see how far people will push that because WoW players go ham. They find a way to do they it. They will go ham. They find a way. I would love to see a fight to the death between the biggest WoW nerd and the biggest EVE online nerd. <laughs> that would just be just calculators and freaking inhalers fly. Mm -hmm. It'd be like... You know those little cartoons where they jump and it's just a cloud and then the guy falls out and the hand pulls him back? It'd be like that, but there'd be like Every keyboards. Every time you see a foot, yeah, you like see a, a foot, foot pops out and then like an inhaler and a thing mm -hmm. of glasses, mm -hmm. a, mm -hmm. a vaporizer, you know, just flies. It'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah. It'd be interesting. Look, I got to look at more info on Legion before I can say, yeah, I'll be back. But I will say it will feel strange to not play it. They may get me back just to check it out. There's a lot of stuff happening in gaming that's going to be really good this year. I know. Tuesday. Overwatch and then I need to reinstall there. Twitter so I can get hyping again. I'm not hyped about games right now. I deleted my Twitter on my phone. It bugged out and there was like a stuck push notification. Oh. And instead of troubleshooting it, naturally I just removed everything related to its existence from my phone. Okay. This is the guy that won't use Skype because one time I clicked the X and it minimized. <laughs> Which there is a button you can click that says close Skype when that's, I close it. That's the developer's job, yeah. brother. Okay. Configure my game for me, bro. Yeah, do it, bro. Why don't Wait, you don't have to do it? You don't know the sensitivity I want? Come on, dude. This should, the button config? There, should, there should be some sort of like government database of like I and I files. You know, oh. where it's, you know, oh, they oh. keep my I and I. Oh, this guy likes his FOV at you know, oh. 85 and then any game. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh. How are they going to finance it? By raising your taxes, buddy. That's how they should do it. Oh.